so nice to be here. Now, I'm from America, but I live in Ireland a long time. But actually, for the last year and a half, I've been living in China. I tried to learn enough Chinese in a year to do stand-up comedy in Chinese, right? Uh, there are many reasons why. Before, I learned how to speak the Irish language, which opened me up to a market of 60,000 people. So I said, the next time I learn a language, I'm going all out. 1.3 billion of those people. Right? Soon I won't be needing you white folks. I have a whole new market. But the main reason I went is because I used to have a really, really good Chinese friend. He used to live in Ireland. He moved back to China. Seamus. Now, <laughs> Seamus wasn't the name his mother gave him. Obviously, I don't know if you know this, but years ago in Ireland, we had an economy. And people went to Ireland <laughs> to work. So these guys would stay in host families, right? The host family would go to the airport to greet them. They'd be like, welcome to Ireland. What is your name? And the Chinese guys would be like, Song Chi Yu. And the family would be like, Seamus. Welcome to Ireland, Seamus. <laughs> There'd be no Song Chi Yu in this house unless we're eating it, OK? <laughs> in fact, I tell you what, we'll all go for a Chinese, will we? You can order. I've been eating number 63 my whole life. Chicken curry, half rice, half chips. Do you have that in China, do you? That's Ireland's favorite Chinese dish, chicken curry, half rice, half chips. Because it's not dinner unless there's potatoes in it. You have to have half potatoes, but I'll have half rice as well. I'm not racist. <laughs> so, while I was in China, I learned Chinese. And during the summer last year, I actually worked for a month in a real Chinese restaurant right on the border of Russia for a month, full Chinese, as a welcomer, a greeter who welcomes people in. And I had a very interesting experience. My job was very simple. Customers would arrive and I would say, Huayin Guanling, which means you are very welcome. And then customers would leave and I would say, Huayin Satsu Guanling, Manzo Sai Jian. Right, very simple job, every day, welcome and leave. But three weeks into the job, three Chinese guys arrive. I say, Huayin Guanling, and then one of them, really loudly in front of everyone in the restaurant says, Huayin Guanling, and does a shit version of my shit Chinese. <laughs> and I said, hold on a minute, buddy. You can't do a bad version of my bad Chinese. That's racist. <laughs> I am the only white guy in the village. I was the only white guy in this small Chinese city of 950,000 people. I was the only <laughs> white guy in the town. So I said to him, at least have the decency, mate. We've all been out with the buddies. We all like a bit of un-PC humor. Wait till you get to the table. Then you can make fun of me. Nobody can hear you, no problem. You know, hey, look at the white guy with his, you know, Huan Ying Guanling. How bad was his Chinese? Huan Ying Guanling, Huan Ying Guanling, Huan Ying Guanling. Fine, I can take that if I can't hear it. But you can't Huan Ying Guanling me. Because I'll tell you right now, buddy, if we were in Dublin or New York or Edinburgh and I walked into the Chinese restaurant and the welcomer was like, oh, you are very welcome. And I went, oh, you're very welcome. Oh, welcome to our restaurant. You are the fine wise. Well, I'd be arrested. So don't Huan Ying Guan Ling me, asshole. And I'll tell you right now, you're lucky. You are lucky, buddy, that I'm a comedian. Because I would have been upset. I would have been upset, except the minute that you said it, I couldn't help but think, this is going to rip it when I take this back to Edinburgh next year. Anyway, thanks very much. I've been Dave Bishop. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.